If you don't pay your federal income taxes, the IRS hits you with a 4% interest rate and a 25% penalty that they cap after five months. If you think that's too much, you don't know what too much is. It's crazy. It's crazy. I, I can't yes. believe it. The Texas Department of Transportation is charging toll violators more than 4,000% in what they call administration fees on unpaid tolls. CC Lopez owes more than $9,000 to TxDOT. I feel like I'm a criminal for driving the toll roads. Before you think Miss Lopez is one of those people who blows through the tolls without paying, she's not. She says she's always had a text tag and always paid. But when she bought a new car in 2009, she took that text tag off the old car and put it on her new one. That made it invalid and jacked her bill to more than $9,000. She called the text tag customer service line to work it out. They told her, too bad, pay it. I called the toll, the text toll tags, and I think it took me three days for my stomach to be, you know, unknotted. I was freaking out and um, talked to them. They said, well, this is what happens. I said, well, I need to figure out how to, you know, fix this. They're like, well, you can't. Now, the fees are only there as an incentive to get people really to pay on time. Mark Tomlinson is the director of the Turnpike Authority for TxDOT. He says by the time drivers get administration fees in the 4,000% range, they've already had ample time to pay their tolls. Some drivers can qualify for violation conversion offers and most can set up payment plans. Right now, there are about 150,000 drivers in Central Texas who owe TxDOT a little more than $3 million in unpaid tolls. When you add that administration fee, the $3 million jumps to more than $56 million, making the average 1,700 percent. Just astounded, outraged, um, <laughs> just unbelievable. Where is common sense and fairness? Yeah. Former state comptroller Carol Keaton Strayhorn spent eight years in charge of every dollar in Texas. She says people who drive the toll roads should pay their tolls, and if they don't, a reasonable fee. But 4,000 percent, she says, is simply TxDOT mismanagement. If they cannot clean up their own mess at TxDOT, then let the legislature step in and do it for them. Your state lawmakers allowed this to happen, and now at least one says the intention of the administration fee may have been for a driver's entire account, not multiple violations charged hundreds of times over and over. I think when the legislature put into the statute the, these relatively high allowable fines, it was contemplating that that would be the total fine, not that it would be that times 100. Representative Mark Strama has toll roads in his district. He told KXAM these administration fees in the multiple thousand percent range need a closer look. And that look is soon coming. This agency is under sunset review. And frankly, the sunset review process is designed to root out things just like this. For now, TxDOT says you need to communicate with them. This can be uh, very damaging to individuals yeah. to have to go through this process. We've, so we want to make every reasonable effort we can to, to help let them work with us. They would give me the information, but they would never give me enough where I could have probably saved another 3,000 in fees had they told me, hey, this is out here.